how to play landmarks by all the luck in the world or in standard tuning there's no capo I'll just be teaching you the chord progression in this tutorial so we have a G chord a D chord a B minor chord and an F sharp minor I'll teach you how to play the bar chords as open chords in case you're a beginner but you can also play them as bar chords start out easy here with our D chord you're gonna have your index finger on the second fret of the G middle fingers on the second fret of the high E ring fingers on the third fret of the B your D chord, you play those four strings. For your A chord, uh, your G chord actually, you're gonna have your ring finger on the third fret of the high E, middle fingers on the third fret of the low E, index is on the second fret of the A string. There's your G chord. For your B minor chord, you can either bar that first fret or second fret with your index finger from the fifth string down, or you can just have your root note on the second fret of the A string. Middle fingers on the third fret of the B string. Ring fingers on the fourth fret of the D, pinkies on the fourth fret of the G. If you're playing it as an open chord like I am here, don't play this high E. Just play those strings. And then finally, if you want to play an F sharp five, you just put your index finger on the second fret of the low E. Ring finger is on the fourth fret of the A, pinkies on the fourth fret of the D. And if you want to bar it, these two fingers stay in the same place, but you just bar the entire chord. So, those are the chords we're working with here, and the progression itself goes like this. We're gonna go from our B minor, to our D, to our G, and finally to our F sharp. Okay, so B minor, D, G, F sharp. F sharp. And that's it. So, uh, something they do is they start strumming it out a little bit um, once the song picks up into the chorus and the pre chorus. So, they go like this. Okay, so what they're doing is they're just strumming on each chord. So down, down, up, down, up. In the, in the song, they're actually picking through it, but it sounds good if you just strum through it. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. D, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, G. F sharp. Whoops, I messed that up. So it's the same chord progression, you're just adding that strumming pattern in there. Um, pretty basic stuff. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.